cello, cello, it's so fun. And you've been practicing and you've been doing a good job. You're very careful with the cello. Your hands are always clean. You never bump the cello. You always keep it safe. You've practiced taking your bow and pulling it across the string. All the way up and all the way down. And you practice that lots and lots of times because you just want to make sure you get a nice sound all the time and clean hands, uh, nothing bumping the cello, and you've practiced your scales, and now let's play a little game. The game is this. I'm going to say the name of a note that your teacher has already taught you, and your job in five seconds, in five, four, three, two, one, zero, is to find that note on the cello and start playing it, and then I'm gonna check to see if you're right. Because sometimes it's hard to get in our heads, like when your teacher says, play a uh, G, you're like, wait, what is a G again? And then you say, okay, um, three fingers and four fingers, and what is it again? So let's practice, 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 okay? Um, I'll give you five seconds for you to find that note on the neck of the cello, putting your fingers down on the right tape, or it might be no fingers, it might be open strings, so we'll see how it goes. Um, okay, I'll say the letter and then count down from five, and then you start playing it as soon as you can, and then I'll join in and we'll see if you're right. Try to do uh, A note. Play the A note. Five, four, three, two, one. I hope you're playing it. Let's see if it's right. A is this string open. If yours sounded like mine, you're right. That's an A note. Open on this last string. Okay, let's do another one. You're doing really good. Let's try find a E note. Play E. Five, four, three, two, one. I hope you're playing it. I'm gonna play it too. Let's see if you got it right. It's one finger. One finger on the D string. Is that what you played? Great job. Even if you didn't get it. Just keep practicing, practicing, practicing. E again. Play E. Five, four, three, two, one. Did you get E? One finger on the D string. Very good. Let's try another one. Let's do B. Find B. Find B. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. I hope you found it. B is also one finger, but it's not on the D string. It's on the A string. Ooh, I bet you're getting quicker and quicker. You can do this video again, too. See if you can, like... You know, try it the second time, third time, get faster and faster. Let's try... Which note? F sharp! F sharp! Play F sharp! Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, F sharp is three fingers on the D string. Excellent! Play a G! G! Five, four, Three, two, one. Uh, let's see if you get it. Four fingers. Uh, play a high D. What's a high D note? Five, four, three, two, one. High D. It's four fingers on the A string. Uh, Low D, play low D. Five, four, three, two, one. Open, it's open on the D string. No fingers. C sharp, play C sharp. What's C sharp? Five, four, three, two, one. C sharp, I hope you got it. C sharp is three fingers on the A string. Make sure when you're playing three uh, fingers or e even four, you don't have to only play that 
with your third finger. I put my third finger down. My second finger is also down in the right position. My first finger is also down. It's like helps you to sort of push it a little bit more. Sometimes your fingers can get tired, so don't just do one finger. Your teacher tells you do all the fingers up to the third as well. So that'd be first, second, third, all together. The C sharp. Okay? Let's do high D down to low D of the scale. Um, we'll do half notes, two beats every time. Start with high D, play with me. Got your four fingers on it? Here we go. such a great job on the cello, sounding beautiful. Be very careful when you are done practicing to make sure you don't bump your cello, make sure you unwind the bow, and keep having fun. You're doing a great job.